this is the right kidney of the patient. I having no lab profile or any other imaging modality uh, with me or any uh, verbal history is that of uh, pain, nothing else. But I am showing you is the right kidney. And uh, first, let's concentrate on the upper pole. This is the upper pole of the right kidney. This is the liver. This is the diaphragm. Now, the calluses uh, are dilated, that of the upper pole, mid region. And uh, <coughs> the preserved renal uh, anatomy here is showing the AP diameter to be 3.9 up to 5 is normal. So this is the upper pole is normal. This is the upper pole. The pyramids and the cortex is clearly visualized in this. This is the cortex. This is these are the pyramids. So cortical medullary differentiation is intact. That of the half, almost half of the kidney with uh, only one finding, uh, two findings. Okay, one there is minimal dilation of the calluses and there are a few tiny concretions seen uh, within the dilated calluses. This is the concretion, this is concretion, this is a concretion. Now this is concretion and we see small amount of debris as well, internal echoes, low level internal echoes within it. So this the significant dilation of the calluses of the Now, this is the lower pole, anterior, this is the anterior uh, parenchyma, lower pole, and you see minimal dilation of all the calluses. This dilated region that you are seeing as a tubular structure that we are seeing emanating from the renal pelvis is the, in fact, uh, pelvis of the kidney measuring approximately 30.7. Now the cortical medullary differentiation that of the lower pole is also preserved. This is the cortex, this is the medulla. So uh, it, these areas are preserved as can be seen by the Doppler study perfusion of upper as well as the lower pole is normal. and SRI and SD ratio is also normal. Now the main pathology is here. It starts from the renal pelvic region. This is the pelvis of the kidney. And then as I follow it posterior medially, you see it gives Now this tubular structure with internal dancing thick equals, no, sorry, thick septa, debris, again septa, and uh, then ending up into this region, you see, uh, we see no dilation from here onwards. So possibility of uh, Obstruction at this level leading to uh, infective process. This is all infection because of the septa, because of the low level in debris. You see, this, this is the tubular end of this uh, dilated pelvis as well as the prox uh, proximal ureter. Not only proximal uterus, but it's dilated up to uh, something around eleven point four into four point zero mm. So this is a 
for, at, at this region we do not see any dilation of the ureter and this is the region where you will see the iliac vessels, right iliac vessels. Here. Now, the, this is the, these are the right iliac vessels, excuse me, this one. vein, artery, but this region in this region uh, we, we do not see any significant vascularity. The septa do not show any vascularity. I am following it again. See, I am going to follow it uh, again from upper pole to the lower pole. Now this is the lower pole, upper pole, sorry. This is the lower pole. This is the uh, pelvis, this region. This area is the pelvis. And as I move posterior medially, you see this structure ending up into a thin tube. Here, here is the blind end, globular, rounded, blind end of this aquifer uh, tubular structure. So this is the ureter, which is filled with echoes and uh, septas. So this is a case of uh, obstructive uropathy right side with uh, the, the septas, the debris, all in favor of being infective in nature. So, this is a case of pyelonephritis, and will, if not treated, will lead, such cases lead to pyelonephrosis. Here, once again. So, this is a a case of right obstructive uropathy with impending pyonephrosis and case of the day. Thank you. Uh, evaluate the ileosource muscle, important because may, it, may be, uh, it may extend into the ileosource muscle or it can be a pathology related to the ileosource muscle but the important, now this is the ileosource muscle this band is ileosource muscle and the thing to note is that ileosource muscle is stable. This is not moving. It is stable, this muscle. Whereas the uh, pathology related to the kidney is moving with the kidney. So as, it, as this area is moving with the kidney, so this is related. We can uh, conclude with uh, quite a bit of a satisfaction that this is related to the kidney because you again see it moves with the kidney. Salo, whereas the muscle will not. Down here you see is the muscle, the ileosource muscle. Rest uh, all of the, the urinary bladder, the next other kidney, the left kidney, the liver and gallbladder, everything is normal. There is no ascites, no chlorophyll. So the only finding in this case is not shown. Thank you very much. Case of the day.